In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can easily add a fire alarm system into your Roblox game. So before we get started, this is the second episode out of my realistic show and I hope this helps you with your game. So once again, a shout out to Future Technologies for creating this. So to start off, I want you to head over to the link in the description and get that model we just downloaded. And then as you can see, here we are in Roblox Studio, we're going to head over to View and then open up toolbox and as you can see we'll click on my models and there should be the Feta Technologies 2021 pack. So it comes with a bunch of other stuff which we are going to delete so let's delete that folder, we don't need that, that folder, that folder and as you can see we're just left over with our fire alarm system here. So as you can see we have the control panel which is looking all good, it has all the details on it all there. And then we're going to put that on the wall somewhere. Now when putting this on the wall, I'd really recommend adding a rig and then adding your avatar for example and really comparing the height to see what is a good height for your panel. So I would recommend having the screen slightly below or slightly above the view of the player. So about there will do. And then as you can see, we have all the alarms here. You can add as many as you want. You can delete as many as you want. You can duplicate them. It's all up to you. So I'm just going to plop my two here. That's looking good. Then we can delete these because we don't need them. We can delete these. You can keep them if you want. Then this I think is just for role playing. So I'm going to delete this too. And really going to just keep this all clean. And then I'm going to put this fire alarm system over here right next to the panel. And then here we go. We have another fire alarm button. And I'm going to put that right next to this one here. And then finally, yep, let's just test the... Okay, so these are at a good height. And then we're going to put this light here, which will blink or light up in the fire. And then we have the fire exit sign, which once again will also lit and blink when it's time. And I'll plop that on the back right here. Okay, so now it's time to configure our panel. So we're going to click on this. We can delete the readme as we don't need it. So bye bye. And then we're going to open up this script. And as you can see, we have a ton of stuff inside of here, but really there's not much we have to worry about. So we can skip over all of this. That should be unloud actually. And then the access code. Okay, so this is the thing I'll definitely change. So for now, I'm going to set my code to be 9876. Okay, that's all good. And then all of this, yeah, yeah, okay, none of this matters. So now I'm going to show you exactly how this system works. So let's head into play. Okay, and then as we load in, you can see, okay, here's our person. I'm just actually going to delete that for now. And as you can see, our panel is lighting up. It'll make a noise when it turns on, okay. And then it's going to boot up, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to go to normal, and then let's put in my code, which was 9876, and then press enter. And as you can see, here we are on the main panel. Then we have a logbook, so we can see everything. And then we have all of our buttons here, which are all looking snazzy. Then we have our blinker, and as you can see, I'm going to hit the fire button. Okay, I'm going to click on it. And as you can see, it's going to start flashing, that light will light up, and there'll be a very loud noise, as you can hear. I'm going to make it quieter just for your viewing experience. And also, this sign will light up too, which is also great. So then, I'm going to mute the beepers. You can also see the zone there. So I'm going to mute them, I'm going to put my code. Then I'm going to click on enter, and then I'm also going to mute this sound too. And then I can also reset the system, which will turn the blinkers off and make everything all clear. And there you go. And if I recall correctly, that should be everything about this system that you need to know. Okay, great. So if you have any questions about this tutorial or anything like that, head over to the Discord, which will be linked down below. If you have anything you want to suggest, you can also suggest that down below. We can also toggle evacuations here manually, I've just noticed. Um, so let me just cancel this. And I hope this tutorial helped you once more. And yeah, once again, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Thank you for tuning in. That's all for me. And bye-bye.